Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures with me, Sula. This episode is part of my continuing series about places to stargaze in the United States. I've collected all my previous dark sky sight videos into one playlist. Then someone on the channel, SK, asked me if I could talk about some more places that I like to stargaze. I'm usually very secretive about where I'm stargazing, but then I decided there are so few dark sky sites, especially in the United States, that I would go ahead and talk about some of the places that I like to go to stargaze. So in this video, I want to talk about a wonderful stargazing place in California called Laguna Mountain Recreation Area. I moved to California in 1988, but somehow all those years I never visited Laguna Mountain until just this year. Laguna Mountain is about two and a half to three hour drive from the San Francisco Bay Area, depending on the traffic. This recreation area is managed by the Bureau of Land Management, or BLM, which is a part of the United States Department of the Interior. Like much BLM land, the area is open to hunting and target shooting, so don't be surprised to hear shooting. There are three small campgrounds with a few sites, Laguna Mountain Campgrounds and the Upper Sweetwater Campground. Like all BLM sites, there's also dispersed camping allowed wherever it's not prohibited. But there's no water, there's no trash pickup, there's no electricity, and there's no cellular service in this area. There are three trails. One goes to the summit of Laguna Mountain. Another trail goes to a small waterfall. And then there's the short fence trail, and then there's another trail that starts at Sweetwater. The habitat is dominated by the classic chaparral habitat you find in California, and oak woodlands with Laguna Creek running through the area. There are some California condors living in this area, as well as a small population of tule elk. There are only a few developed campsites at the campgrounds, but each one has a fire pit, a picnic table, and access to vault toilets. The toilets are generally clean and they have toilet paper. Some of the sites also have a shade structure, but choose your campsite wisely because some of the sites have large oak trees or tall pine trees. Oak trees in California are beautiful and stately, but they will block your view of the sky but there are plenty of places to set up your telescope in this area. If you go on the weekend, expect a lot of competition though for the meager campsites from campers towing dirt bikes and ATVs since further down the road is a large OHV area, off-highway vehicle. The Laguna Mountain area lies at around 2,500 feet with the summit of Laguna Mountain itself at 4,462 feet or 1,360 meters. The summers can be hot and dry and the winters are short but cold and wet and on rare occasions can receive snow. The sky quality at Laguna Mountain is rated by Zasteria at Bortal 2 and also if you look it up on lightpollutionmap.info it's also listed as Bortal 2 but it's probably closer to Bortal 2 slash 3. Still, it's pretty dark for being so close to the Bay Area, an area of around 8 million people. It's a beautiful area. It's very peaceful and relaxing, and the times that I've been there, the stargazing was exquisite. Well, not the time I went and I got rained on, and it also hailed. <laughs> to get to Laguna Mountain, you go to Hollister, California, and from Hollister, you continue down Highway 25, passing Pinnacles National Park, and continue about another 12 miles to the turnoff for Coalinga Road. It's a paved road, but it's very narrow and winding. You continue another 12 miles or so until you arrive at the campgrounds. If the campgrounds are full, you can look for dispersed camping along the road, as long as it's not on private property, which is interspersed with the BLM uh, area. If you're going, be sure to bring everything you need, including your own water, food, and supplies, and plenty of gas, and pack out all your trash. 
You could stargaze at Laguna Mountain and then drive back to Pinnacles National Park if you made a reservation in advance for either the campground or one of their cabins. Or you could drive all the way to Hollister and stay in a hotel overnight. Or you could drive all the way back to wherever you started from. <laughs> but that might be a very long drive on a winding country road. The same road that I had my accident on driving back late at night. Laguna Mountain is an excellent place to stargaze. The only drawback is that it's small and it only has a few established campsites. But I recommend it. That's it for now. I'll see y'all soon. Dark skies forever. Sula, signing off.